set in the shadows of the Great Dividing Range, Dalesford screams weekend getaway. I find great happiness in spending time with friends and the luxury of the French house sure helps increase that happiness factor. Wow, ah, this is cute. Look at the fire. Oh, it's so cosy. They made us a cake. Oh, and champagne. Oh, that is so perfect. Oh. Look at this couch. Oh, hey, how good thank is you this? For <laughs> thank you for coming. How oh, amazing, and Who's going to pop the champagne? Well, I just spotted the tennis court out there and I thought maybe we could have a little game before dinner. So the champagne was put on hold and we laughed our way Ooh. through a couple of sets. <laughs> This place has thought of everything, even a soothing spa for faded sports stars. And the best part of any weekend away is the chance to just catch up. Where is your happy place? I'd say one of the things that or I always think is a great thing is conversation. To me, I think that's just something that's fantastic. I like when the noise is a little bit less and I can really feel more or take in more or absorb more. That's my happy place. So when I could be alone and listen to the birds and just have some exercise, have a time to reflect, those are my best days. You're in days. heaven, aren't you? Yeah, those are great days. We'll get into the juicy stuff when the cameras mm. stop. Eh? Okay. <laughs> After a luxurious night's sleep, it was off to take in the renowned work of Paul Bangay. Look, my mother was a really great gardener and I grew up um, with her gardening. And so I was probably like five or six or seven. She gave me a small part of her garden that I could use as my own. Mm -hmm. And after, when I asked my father for a very elaborate greenhouse, he said, I think that's time to stop now. You, <laughs> you need to get out and go to school. <laughs> How do you go from loving gardening to becoming an international well, gardening I, I expert? Think it's, I think it's just really luck. You know, I, I was at the right, right place at the right time. I got really good press when I was starting off. I was on the front cover of Vogue Living when I was 21. Wow. It was beautiful. I got a lot of press and you know, good clients and just rode the wave of that big property boom in the, in the, the, in the late 80s. History, hey? yeah. And what about style-wise? Do you keep it kind of, is it your signature style or do well, you...? Well, I, I like to, to keep it quite timeless and quite classic. I think that's, that's sort of our signature. So I don't want to create a garden that's going to be out of vogue or out of fashion in 10 years' time. We're blessed up here because we've got good weather, good rainfall, beautiful basalt soil. And so all the conditions are right for a garden. So, you know, just coming up here, sitting in the garden, you know, we sit on the back terrace and have a drink and just look at the lovely view of the valley. That's definitely a happy place. So beautiful. Yeah. I can see just there's such beauty there, um, but there's also a practical element too. We've got the apples coming through and they're crimson crisp fruiting apples. Wow. So in like March, April, we get an abundance of actually really juicy, crisp apples. Paul, this really could be the biggest pond I've ever seen. Well, you know, <laughs> when you're in the country, scale is very important. Paul, your grass is so perfect, it's like carpet. Should we take off our shoes? No, it's it's quite tough. It's uh, it's actually creeping bent grass. They say a man is as good as its lawn. She must be pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> must be a nice oh, man. Hopefully. <laughs>